so this week we're going to be doing something Mario related. You might remember I did this guy a couple weeks back. And then in honor of Mario Party Superstars this week, we're going to be making a toad. He's pretty simple to make, pretty small guy with simple colors. Uh, we're going to start off by grabbing some peach from our air dough bucket, as well as three of the white. We're going to start off by making the head. So first off, we're going to save a little bit of white because although most of his head is white, he still uses some for his uh, pants things and his little eyes and stuff. But anyways, we're making the mushroom cap for his head. Just roll out a ball and we're going to start flattening out one side of the ball. This is where his, uh, his face, his peach face part is going to stick into. So once that's done, we're going to grab some red and just make like five little balls. I don't really have any sort of advice, just kind of eye it out and uh, you're going to flatten them out and put them on the mushroom cap. So, you know, obviously smaller than the mushroom cap itself. So there's going to be one on the top and then four all around the sides. So once we have five, we're going to go ahead and flatten these guys out. And I found that the best way to do this was just to use my fingers. I tried rolling them out, but they got stuck to the table or they didn't come out, you know, just the right shape. So I used my fingers and then I just squished them onto the mushroom cap and then I kind of just rubbed them in and, you know, made it more circle, nice and neat. Did that with the remaining dots. I did one on the side first and then I did the top one. And this kind of just served to, you know, guide where the rest of the spots would go. We flatten another one out using my fingers. And then squeeze it on the side. See, I'm just rubbing them in so that they are nice and, and round and smooth. And it sticks really nicely on there. See, look, I'm trying to see that they're all pretty symmetrical. It helps to kind of look at the white spaces in between the circles. All right, and then kind of re-accentuate the dip in there. All right, the next thing that I did is I Rolled out some of this peach dough. It looks white, but it's peach, I promise. Um, it's gonna be his face. We made a ball and then flatten out one side. And then I'm comparing it to here, and that's pretty good. All right, and then we're gonna grab a tool, kind of just mark where the eyes are gonna go. I use the edges of the, cir the red circles to kind of guide where, where the eyes are going to be. And then I grab some black dough. We're going to make the eyes, so grab a little bit of black. Make two, two little circles, make sure they're about the same. Not quite even yet. All right, and then I'm gonna use this to roll them out. They're kind of like ovals, <laughs> but I couldn't quite roll them with my finger, so I used the roller for this. And then you flatten them in there. Do that with the other one. All right, using my nail again. And then we're gonna do the mouth. So we're just stabbing his face right there. Make him smile, make him sad, whatever you want. <laughs> All right, he's pretty happy. He just announced someone won a star, so. And then we're gonna grab some of this white for the little glimmer in his eye. And make sure they're pretty even. that one in there. This is where I noticed that one is a little bigger, but that's fine. And now we're gonna make some arms. 
So I just kind of like eyeballed it here. Um, I figured the arms are probably about, you know, just as long as his like mushroom cap is long. I made two cylinder shapes. Feels about right. And then that one's a little bit too long now. And then just kind of taper off the end. And that's pretty good. Now we're gonna make like an egg shape, but then you know point one end, so it's more like a teardrop now. Cool, cool, cool. And that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go back to our white and use the remaining white to just make a big giant circle. Well, not giant, but make a bigger circle. And we're gonna roll it out so it's nice and even. These these are gonna be his pants or his diaper or whatever he's wearing. <laughs> I don't know, but it's gonna cover the bottom half. <laughs> so there you go, and then we squeeze it all together. And cool. So now we're gonna do his vest. So we're gonna grab some blue and some yellow. Grab the blue and just make a, just just roll out and flatten a big square shape thing. <laughs> make it pretty thin so his uh, vest or whatever doesn't cover all of him. Estimate how much you're gonna need. I'm gonna chomp off a little bit over here. On the other side. So if you angle them like this, it's gonna envelop him pretty nicely. We're just gonna commit and apply. And then just kinda push everything in so it sticks. And the collar's gonna help uh, his head to stay there. And then we're gonna grab some of this yellow and just roll it out into a long, 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 long rope. It's gonna be the trim on his vest. Make sure it's pretty evenly thick <laughs> all around. Just start in the back so you can kind of hide any mistakes. And just apply all the way around and then use two fingers when there's like a corner and push them together like so. And then just cut off any excess. So that part where they where they join, the head's just gonna cover anyways. We're gonna grab some brown and make his feet. So grab some dough and just make uh, two little bread loaves. Make sure they're pretty even. So you can just start by squeezing them out on the table. Pretty good. So then just push him into his body. And then for the head, we're gonna need a little bit of water. And that should help it stick. Alright, there we go. And now we're gonna try to do the same with the arms. So, probably messed up dipping that in water. But hopefully it stays. And then do the same on the other one. Nope, that one fell. I'll just, oh. Okay, well, don't put too much water on these <laughs> or else they'll just keep falling off. I made them stick to the head so it's, you know, holding pretty well. And look, he's celebrating. And that's Toad. Thanks for watching. Remember, we do this every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and let us know in the comments what you want to see me build next week. 